Digital charge controller, return to factory settings. Set button on the left. Scrolls through the numbers. Okay. To change any of the digits, press the enter button on the right. Operation mode, no flashing digits. that button to change. This should be 14.4 or 28.8. This one should be 13.6 or 27.2. This screen should be all zeros. This one DL9, this one ONL, operation mode, no flashing digits. To return to factory settings uh, for either 12 volt or 24 volt systems, we'll start with 12 volt. You need to get to the P screen, so if you have no flashing digits, hold down the enter button on the right until you see P, P dash, set button on the left, scroll to P1, enter, set, zero, zero, five, Zero zero five D zero No flashing is operating. Now you must enter directly from P one to P three. Hold the enter button until you see P one set to get to P3, enter, this is your voltages, so we'll start with 12 volt, no flashing digits, set 14.4, set to scroll, enter to change any digit, Fourteen point four. Second screen, thirteen point six. Third screen, fourth screen, DL nine. Fifth screen, ONL. No flashing digits, operating. To change to to return to factory settings for 24 volt, if you're on a screen with no flashing digits, hold enter until you see P dash set to go to P1. Enter. operating, no flashing digits. The P1 has the same settings as your 12 volt and 24 volt.
Now you must go directly to P3. Hold enter. operating. You should see your battery voltage here, no flashing digits. Okay, a brief explanation of the functions. The under P3, your first set here is your high voltage disconnect and or divert point. The second one is to return back to charging. The screen means um, uh, uh, nine tenths of a second delay before it diverts. Really doesn't. This must be at ONL. That's back at operating. The P1 is all the time settings. The first is the length of diversion or disconnect, which is five seconds. Um, the second screen is also at five and you should refer to your instruction sheet to better explain this. Uh, but briefly, it <coughs> monitors um, it monitors the activity and sets the diversion to a longer length of time if there is a lot of activity. This one is your display Set at D0 means the display will never shut off. If you set it to 1, the display will shut off after 1 minute of inactivity. And all the way up to 9 minutes. The charge controller still functions, it's just the display shuts off. It should come set at about 9. Under the voltage settings, P3, this is your diversion point. The screen here. So when your battery gets to 14.4 for 12 volt system or 28.8 for 24 volt system, you will see the, little, the green light come on through this viewing hole here. That means you're disconnecting your solar and diverting your wind. When the green light turns off, that's back to charging battery. M most Outback 24 volt grid tie inverters and other inverter chargers, meaning uh, the inverter will charge your battery bank either using generator power or grid power, can charge your battery bank to above 28.8 volts. So you set your ter first time setting above 28.8 volts. And this is to keep the charge controller from turning on your dump load when your inverter charger is charging your batteries. And typically for like the Outback, I like to set it at about 29.5. You can start at anything above 28.8 
So anything above 28.8, .8, but preferably not higher than 29.5. Your return to charging point should stay at 27.2. Your first set point must be higher than your return to charging point. If your return to charging point is higher than the diversion point, you have to change your return to charging point lower. So. Turn these all to zero. Twenty eight point eight, and now reset. While operating, no flashing digits, this is your battery voltage, you can switch between your battery voltage and the time. Now if you're diverting this will, uh, you will see a countdown uh, and you can actually view the timing, what's going on. You just hit enter to cycle between them. You can stay on either one. And when your display turns off, all you do is tap one button and it will turn the display on for you.